One of the questions I get asked all the time is, what is an in-frame kitchen? If you like our videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So if you're wondering what actually is the difference, what is an in-frame kitchen, or the difference between that and a shaker, um, really simple, it's the door, this is the door and this is the frame. It goes all around it and that fits onto the front of the, the carcass. So this bit here is the door and that's what opens up and this is the frame, it sticks onto the front of the carcass, where it's attached to the front of the carcass and typically it's longer at the, the bottom so it hangs down in front of the carcass. So this is an in-frame kitchen. So in-frame kitchens are becoming increasingly more and more popular with the trends. Um, I think they obviously suit a lot of properties and everyone likes the appearance of them, you know, the high quality craftsmanship. So really you know, suit a very traditional property, but also you can put them in the modern setting and it's quite nice to see that, that contrast. So what's really popular about the, the in-frame kitchens is the versatility of those doors. So they typically they're painting, that's more popular for what we're doing. So the door itself is, Typically it's going to be in a wood and they'll come in a smooth or grain um, with appearance of grain, painted or you can actually see it's a wood. I'm finding the most popular is the, the painted and it's usually, um, depending on the size of your kitchen, two-toned, so a dark island, maybe lighter on the outside. What's really popular with the in-frame, obviously apart from the, the look of it, is what the versatility of that door. So the fact that you can have shaker kitchen and in frame but it can have quite a modern feel to it so it's just very simple with just the shaker and the simple frame around it or you can go for quite a bit of detail on it so you within the shaker door you can have beading you can have beading around the frame you've had the the butt hinges you can then you know if you really want to go to town with it you can have the uh, plinth that sits on the front of the frame that really adds to that look the cornies can be built up and then you've got the decal panels at the end so you can really go to town with it or you can pay it back and go for quite a modern look so lots of advantages and lots you can do with it and um, typically with an in-frame kitchen you would have timber draw boxes to go with it so we would always a standard have solid timber dovetail draw boxes i really like the look of it um but something you always have to think about is obviously the more fussy it is it's you've got to think about the keeping clean and it's, that's going to be a lot harder than some of the other doors that are out there Two of the only real uh, negatives I would say about this is because of the frame that sits around the front of the carcass, it means although your carcass might be 600 wide, once you put that frame onto the front of it, you're um, reducing that space. So getting into that is going to be actually slightly harder. So I feel when I'm designing it, I will try to use, avoid using units that say three or 400 wide because it doesn't, um, they're not so practical as the wider cupboard. So I'll be bearing that in mind from designing a kitchen. Um, the other thing is obviously your drawers are going to be narrow because you've got the frame that goes all the way around the kitchen. Consequently, um, because of the work that's involved in manufacturing and producing that door, and then the fact that you know they typically are always timber doors, and you're going to have a timber drawer box to go with it, price-wise, they are going to be you know, I say starting price, maybe about say twenty thousand pounds for a complete kitchen. So the alternative to the in-frame is a shaker door, which I've got here. So obviously, there's no frame that runs all around it. It's a five-piece door, so you've got the frame and then your veneered centre panel. Um, Obviously straight away you can see price wise it's going to be less than a, an in-frame kitchen just because the work that's involved to produce this. Like the in-frame kitchens typically they'll come in obviously wood. This is a painted uh, oak door so you can see the grain for it but also it's very popular to go for the smooth finish as well. I always say to clients if you've got a fam young family or pets, animals, uh, seeing the grain is more practical because it's more forgiving to your little uh, dents and knocks whereas a smooth finish it's always going to show everything up so that's something to think about and also the darker colors can be a little, little bit less forgiving but yeah so this is a shaker door and we call this a lay on door which means it just literally sits on the front of the, the carcass and has hinges and opens the standard so there's nothing restricting the access into that cupboard with this you could have a you can have a solid timber dovetail draw box or you can have a standard draw box so hopefully I've explained the difference between an in-frame and a shaker kitchen. I mean, the main thing has been is, is the look of it and how much you want to spend on it.